Hello YouTube. Uh, so today um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, went to get out using my trailer this morning and <clears throat> the coupler or the trailer tongue um, broke off of the tongue of my trailer. Um, this is just something that can randomly happen to any trailer but it's an easy fix. You don't need to replace the whole hitch. Um, I was able to find a uh, coupler repair kit uh, for two inch couplers or balls. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive uh, and really easy to uh, really easy to fix. So if you find yourself in a similar situation, there's really no need to uh, cut the tongue off and repair the whole tongue. You just go get one of these uh, coupler repair kits and you should be up and running in no time. The uh, coupler repair kit that I'm using today, it's by uh, Uriah Products. Again, this is for two inch couplers or balls. It's a universal design, zinc plated, and this item number is UC200201. On the back, it's got a picture of the diagram. This is how you're going to put this together and the different components that are inside of the box. All right, so taking the coupler out of the package. Pretty easy, straightforward process, just unsnaps. And on the back, you have the cardboard tab and then the different components to the coupler. So we're going to keep that right there so we can look at the diagram. And basically the way that the coupler will go together is first you have your lever and it's got your locking mechanism already attached up top. Next you have your spring and it's the same it's the same uh, width on either end, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. The next, you're gonna have your plate, and the way this goes, the tab will face the back. On the bottom of your hitch, there's going to be a bar up under the hitch. The tab, when you install it, will sit over the bar. Next is a spring. This is to keep tension. Top of that is the plate. And last is the nut that will go on. And it has a nylon thread on the inside make sure that faces the bottom that's to help lock it in place as you can see the plate will keep the nut from moving so once you get it on your hitch to tighten it up simply push down on the spring You simply tighten the nut. So that's it. And when it goes on the trailer, that's how it's going to set. The uh, spring and everything else will be on the bottom side. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble it. And we're gonna put it on the trailer. So assembly, 
on the tongue. It's the exact same way that we put it together. First, I'm just going to slide that through the hole. Next, we'll take our spring, slide up on there. And again, you want to make sure that when this goes on, that it goes over the pin. As you can see, there's the rivet for mine on either side. The pin just runs horizontally through the tongue of the trailer. Okay, it's over the pin. The next is our pin. It will go around the shaft. Next is the plate. And then our nut. Again, keep the nylon threads pointed down. So to get this started, you have to compress the plate. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is to um, put it onto the hitch, push up and down on the hitch until um, you don't want the coupler to wobble when it's on the hitch at all. Uh, you shouldn't be able to pick up and down on the tongue of the trailer. If you need to tighten it up anymore, because um, it gets pretty tough towards the end, um, it takes just a three quarter inch socket. So at the end, it uh, starts getting a little bit more tension in it to be able to move. So I've got a three quarter inch socket, which will fit the nut. Same process, you don't want to try to just use the wrench. Pick up on the plate that locks the nut. Same time. So next, I'm going to go ahead and put it onto my hitch. And um, we're going to check for the tightness. When I get it on, I shouldn't be able to pick up and down on the hitch. It shouldn't wobble on the ball. So we're going to go ahead and do that if it needs to adjust it. It's just a simple matter of dropping the trailer again, um, undoing everything, undoing the coupler, not taking it apart. Um, and just tightening it up a little bit more until you get the uh, desired tension on the ball that you want so there's no wobble. Okay, so I've got it on the ball, on the hitch. Simply going to close it. <clears throat> As you can see, Mine still moves around on the ball just a little bit. So it's a simple process of again, just undoing it, dropping the hitch, and then we're going to tighten it back up. Go ahead and hook it back up one more time and give it a quick test, but I think we'll be good.
All right, so the hitch is seated again on the ball. I'm gonna close the handle. And there you go. All right, thanks for watching. And if you like this video or you learned something from it, please uh, be sure to like and subscribe.